First of all, okay, I'm not ready yet. Like, okay, if my guy were to ask me right now, I would say yes. Like, yes, 110%. Yes, duh. Hey, how's it going? What's up? If you didn't already know, my name is Seda. And from the title of this video, you already know what I'm doing. I'm actually at the spaghetti factory. I was trying to go to um, the sushi place that I normally go to, but they closed down, so it kind of sucks, but this was the next closest place. And I'm eating spaghetti again in one of my videos, which is weird, but I did not plan that. Mm. Caesar salad. I've been out, up since 4 in the morning. It's a little bit awkward. But I've been up since 4 in the morning. And <clears throat> I went to work. Only worked for like 4 hours. But it feels like 8. You guys. I feel like I just can't do it anymore. Like my body's so tired. Mm. Also, I have an iced tea with extra lemon. I like lemon. So, my bread. And to be honest, I feel a little bit down right now because I just, I like my job, but I just feel like I have so much more potential to do something something better something i can do so much more my body's not letting me and i don't know where to look for something else i'm a little bit down right now sorry the lighting is weird spaghetti factory i don't know at least you can't tell how tired i really am okay so let's sort of get started you know i actually I filmed this video already a month ago on my birthday but I just got too emotional and you know me I cry every time I tried to film it I just couldn't do it there's so much that I don't know where to start oh my goodness if I'm gonna cry I'm gonna be so mad at myself because I really want to film this I asked specifically for me to be alone secluded I hope they can hear. I get so shy, especially in public. <clears throat> and I'm alone, so it makes it worse. Oh, by the way, I'm sick. So if I sound, I'm just, I'm sick, okay? So, you guys didn't know, I was diagnosed with kidney failure when I was 13. When I was 16, you know, I started dating a little bit, talking to people a little bit, you know? I didn't know much about my illness. I guess I should say I knew enough. I knew that I needed a kidney to live. And that's about it. I didn't know the in and outs of it, that I needed dialysis, that I needed dialysis, needed my medication. And even though I was told these things, I was 16. I wasn't like a normal 16 though. I, I had so much more going on in my life. I was in foster care, so. I was just focusing on, you know, that part of my life. I wasn't too worried about boys. But I was still interested in them boys, you know, and I, I would talk to them. And I, the guy I was seeing at the time, um, all I told them was, oh, I need um, a kidney, you know. That's about it. Like, I'm good, you know, I am playing sports, I'm doing this. And he was young too, so he didn't know the questions to ask. So, whatever, life went on. After having my kidney transplant, that's when I met my boy, my current boyfriend. I wasn't very educated on my illness. So all I, to all I told him was, yeah, I had my kidney transplant. I'm good for the next 20 years, you know. 
I'll need a kidney transplant some other time, but um, I've been through dialysis, but I didn't know like really dialysis. Like it was only for six months and I, I was young. I was 16, my body could, you know, heal quickly and It wasn't like an alarm in my head, you know, so me knowing the knowledge that I had at the time, telling him, I don't know, it just wasn't enough. I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> it's taking so long to explain. Basically, if you're trying to date, wanting to date, just know that you should be try to get as much information about your illness and be very knowledgeable about it because the more you know the better understanding you'll have and you'll be able to explain to that person the in and out about your situation because if you don't know and then they don't know they don't know the questions to ask they don't know what they're getting into for me like I said all I told my boyfriend was like I'm good I'm gonna be good for the next 20 years five years later my kidney failed I'm in the hospital for a whole month like he it's so unexpected it's so overwhelming that it was hard for him and myself because he didn't know much about it right Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Cheese so and Parmesan cheese. Uh, no, I'm okay. Thank All right, you. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. thanks. I feel like you should be extremely knowledgeable about your illness to be able to explain to that person the most you can about your situation, so that they know what they're getting into, how they can help you and how you know they, they can support you in every way if they want to stay right you have to give them that option and not just trap them in <laughs> try to be confident for example for me um i've had a lot of scars in my body i have scars on my chest on my stomach um it's just a lot so you know if you're confident whether you don't have an illness or anything, people will like you. Um, but if you do have something, and whatever. I don't know where I'm going, but just be confident, be knowledgeable while you're trying to date. I feel like I have so much more to say. I think it's the fact that I'm in a public setting. My brain just completely... Having an illness and being in a relationship has to be one of the hardest things I've experienced through my whole dialysis experience. It's been extremely hard because the person you love is watching you go through some of the worst parts about your life. Some of the worst situations you know they try to be strong for you but you just know that it, it like it's killing them give me a second see there's no way that you can talk about this type of stuff and not cry i'm okay like i i'm okay it's just talking about it and when i don't talk about it it's And we, him and I talk about, you know, what's going on and, um, but it's just, it's so emotional being in this situation. Um, I think the worst part about it is, um, when I explain to people my situation and, Oh, I'm get some bread. Literally, you know, like that cash money. Oh yeah, the worst part about it is 
that I, when I tell people about my situation, you know, you always get the, oh, what about your dad? What about your mom? They can't donate. Do you have any brothers and sisters? And then like they go through the family list asking me if I've asked them or if they asked me or, but if they know that I have someone, the next person in line will be my boyfriend. What about your boyfriend? He can't donate? I just, I hate um, that people think that he has, is the, the word obligation the right word? That he's obligated to donate his kidney because he's my boyfriend. Um, I hate that about this whole situation because he's just another person as well, you know? Yes, he's my family member. Um, consider him my family. But um, I don't feel like anyone is obligated to donate their kidney. Um, you know, there's a list for a reason. Um, because no one is obligated to donate, you know, part of their body. Um, but yeah, I just, and I know. eating so I don't cry I know that he feels that sense from people too and he feels like he needs to um, but I tell him I'm like no you don't have to just because you know we've been together for for a while and you just you don't have to so if you're a family member or, you know, a loved one, just don't feel like you need to take your time. Um, you know, there's a list for a reason. If you want to, you know, you can always call up your, the hospital, tell them you want to donate. And, you know, you can do it in secret. So that's one thing I hate about um, being on dialysis or needing a kidney, needing an organ. Being in a relationship, it's... <sighs> While having an illness is so hard, you guys, like... Like, you're already, you know, trying to impress your boo. Not like impress, like you're dating for the first time, but... You know what I mean? Like, I'm still trying to be cute and... This illness just has me looking tired all the time, looking crusty, looking, looking ratchet. I don't know. Like I want to be looking a one for you, but my kidney failure popping out from left to right. I don't know. And you guys, he's so supportive. Like he's there for me. He makes me laugh when I'm out crying. You know, those are the, the best type of people when they can make you laugh when you cry. You need those people in your life. You know that's the one. <laughs> I remember telling my story to someone for a few people and they've said the same thing as well. Is why, why don't you guys get married? Um, it'd be such a cute story. I knew this one girl who is dying of cancer and her boyfriend um, They decided to get married got pregnant had a kid and then she died and then um, All that was left was the baby and it was just the cutest story. I'm like that's one of the saddest stories that you could possibly tell me. Yeah, okay, I, I get your point of view, but for me, I don't want to RIP on my guy. Like, are you dumb? First of all, okay, I'm not ready yet. Like, okay, if my guy were to ask me right now, I would say yes. Like, yes, 110%, yes, duh. But, like, let me get my, let me get my career, or let me have school finished. Let me, 
I don't know, let me advance a little bit, you know, level up or something. Thank you. Um, even though you want to be with me just before leveling up, you know, it's cool too. But right now, having this illness, uh, it's just, I really don't want to, like, just thinking about marrying and then you know dying on this guy you know that's the saddest thing if you guys are going through it oh my goodness this own answer i don't know just for me it just it feels so sad or knowing that my husband will be a widow or you know if i if my fiance my, this story will be like oh yeah my fiance died before we could get married you know what i mean like, obviously we're keeping the hope we're keeping the faith that i will live until i'm 100 but it's just that's a hard part about it just yeah just overall being in a relationship is already hard 10 times more having an illness it's just so much balancing to do emotionally you know mentally it's it's kind of exhausting okay so having friendships well having an illness for me it's been a little bit difficult already i'm terrible at keeping friends just because i'm terrible at contacting them and just keeping up with my friends in general i'm terrible at it i shunned a lot of people out mostly because i i've thought so much about my illness and leaving people behind um, and i think about like them oh my goodness this is the anniversary where my friend died um, i'm so sad and you know that type of stuff i don't want them to feel sad i just it's already a sad situation either way you know but it's just i I don't want them to mourn. I don't want them to have that sadness um, about me, about, you know? So I, I've stayed away from people. Um, so I I don't have friends. Like I do, but it's like, hey, how are you? You're good? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a hard part about having friends for me is I've been shunning people out because of that situation being in a new city has been difficult having friends for me because it's like you know they have to get to know me and i gotta get to know them but they just know the sick zeta back home in toronto you know, i had my friends since elementary school since high school you know we could it was comfortable they knew me as a zeta who was so lively and i could still be lively with them i don't know it's hard to explain <laughs> what the heck, yo? I was even aware. Um, thank you guys for watching this if you watch this. I know it was kind of a long video. I feel like it wasn't very informative, but sort of. I don't know if I explained it properly. It's hard to explain. And like I said, this is my first time being out in public and I don't know if I'll do this again, but yeah. Don't forget to take your medication. Don't forget to take your injection. And try to be nice to people because you don't know what they're going to. Thank you again and again and again. I will see you guys next time. Bye.